Hello, how are you doing? My name is Oto and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the new Insta360 X4. This is a camera that can record videos in 360 degrees and this is possible because there is a lens on each side and this means that it doesn't matter how you point the X4 because it will be able to see everything around it not just on the sides but also upwards and downwards. For many people, this is a huge feature because they don't have to worry about framing the shot correctly. You know how your main subject could be out of the frame, it can happen to anyone. And 360 videos also have the advantage to let you select multiple frames from one single video. It's almost like having different cameras at the same time because with 360 cameras like the X4, you are going to be able to record and reframe later as many times as you want to get that perfect shot using the app on your smartphone or computer. And maybe I shouldn't call it perfect because there is no such thing and the limitation with previous 360 cameras was the final resolution that you could get. Okay, let me try to explain this. The X3 has a max resolution of 5.7K, but that's for the entire 360 video. Once you select and export a portion of this video, is not going to be anywhere near 5.7K. But we are here to talk about the X4, right? Insta360 gave this camera the same processor that is inside the Ace Pro, and one of the main benefits is that the X4 now has a maximum resolution of 8K. And even though this is also for the entire 360 video, you are now going to get better results without losing so much resolution after you reframe your videos. The size of the sensor is the same as the one on the X3, but the X4 now supports H.265 videos, and in my opinion, the processor is making a big difference inside this camera. And this is not just about the resolution, the videos now have a much better quality where you can see more details. There is a big difference in the amount of noise, especially in lower light conditions. And I also think that the color science has been improved. It just looks like they are being rendered with a much more pleasing look than ever before. Shooting at 8K can be done at 24 or 30 frames per second. And if you want to shoot at 60 frames per second, you can do so at 5.7K and at 4K you can go up to 100 frames per second. One of the features that I love about the X4 and other Insta360 cameras is the electronic stabilization that they have. It is called flow state and this will make your video stable but with the X4 we also have horizon lock which is going to keep the horizon level straight and this works way better than most action cameras which usually have some angle limitations when you're using higher resolutions. On the other hand, the X4 can keep that horizon straight with no limits at 360 degrees, even if you're using the highest resolution and settings as well. Another big improvement that you can find on the X4 is that you can use it as a regular action camera. This is not a new feature, but it wasn't something that I found to be useful most of the time with older generations. With the X4, you can use one of the cameras instead of using both of them, and this turns the X4 into a regular point-and-shoot camera. What I like about it is that this mode now lets you shoot in 4K up to 60 frames per second. The video quality is great, as you can see in the background, the flow state stabilization will be applied directly on the videos and you will get a simple mp4 file that you will not have to edit and reframe, which is going to save you lots of time. I don't know what you think about this, but we can consider this as a two-in-one camera. 360 mode when you need 360 videos, and then single lens when you need an action camera. The build quality of the X4 is really good, 
It just feels like a solid and rough camera which is waterproof up to 10 meters. With these kind of cameras, I was always concerned about damaging the lens with a scratch for example, but the X4 now comes with these replaceable standard lens guards for free inside the box, which are easy to install to protect the main lens. And you can also buy these premium ones which are supposed to be more resistant. If you are afraid that you might hit a lens on your X4, then using them is not going to be a brainer. But in my case, I was having trouble keeping them clean, and I am not a big fan of using another layer of glass in front of the main lens for multiple reasons. The design of the X4 is very similar to the one on the X3, but the X4 is a bit bigger and also a bit heavier at 200 grams. The screen is now made of Gorilla Glass which feels like a nice upgrade and it is a tiny bit larger at 2.5 inches. There are two buttons that can be customized, one on the side and one below the screen. And on the left side, there is a USB-C port for charging or to transfer files to your computer. The battery is replaceable, but now it's bigger and in my tests, it ran for 1 hour and 25 minutes using 8K with the highest settings that we can use. At 5.7K, you're going to get over two hours of recording time, and I was able to charge the battery from 10 to 100% in 55 minutes. I know that those numbers might not be good enough for some users, and if that's the case, my recommendation is to buy one or two extra batteries. Besides the battery size, Insta360 has given the X4 a bunch of useful features. Along with the traditional voice control, it now has gesture controls so you can start or stop recording by just showing your hand like this. Being a 360 camera, it only makes sense that it works from any angle and this was extremely useful when I was testing the X4 outdoors. But sometimes when I wave my hand like this, the camera thought that I wanted to stop recording when that was not my intention. That was clear for me, but I guess it wasn't for the X4. I like that we can now use the cancel record function, which lets you cancel the video that you're recording if you hold down the record button to avoid having multiple clips that you're not going to use because you did not like something that was happening. Videos taken on the X4 can be sent to your phone in the background by just pressing an icon inside the camera. I like how using an extension rod like this becomes invisible automatically. It adds some magic to sport videos, vlogging, and this is amazing for faking drone shots as well. But perhaps my favorite feature to mention is that the X4 is very snappy. You're not going to feel any lag when you start or stop recording, and the menus, just in general, they feel very fast and responsive as well. I don't know about you, but this is something that matters a lot to me. There is also an improvement with transfer speeds using Wi-Fi or using a cable. And this is because the X4 now has a USB-C 3.0 port instead of 2.0. The internal microphone seems to have some kind of improvement as well. Let's take a look at this. Can be good as a microphone test. So I don't know, it's like, we're gonna see. I'm gonna switch to the right side. See how the shadows hit my face. If you buy a microphone adapter like this one, you can use an external mic, but the good news is that the X4 supports the DJI mic too. So pro tip, you don't even need the receiver. In reality, you just have to buy a single transmitter and save some money. To edit the 360 videos, you will need to use the Insta360 app on your smartphone or you can use the Insta360 Studio on your computer. I honestly feel that it's worth learning to use the pro editing mode to really get the most out of this camera, but it can be a bit overwhelming if you're using it for the first time. So Insta360 has an AI option that will quickly select the best parts of a video. And there is also this quick option that lets you reframe using a joystick on the screen or by moving the phone around. 
there are really a lot of features inside their app, like tracking, you can change the speed of a video, and even add this motion in the effect, which lets you add motion blur to your videos. For those who would like to know if the new X4 overheats, I did test it at 5.7K and then at 8K, and I could not get it to overheat. On both cases, the X4 ran out of battery. And this was not what I was expecting at 8K using the highest settings when the camera was standing still in the same position with no airflow and no air conditioning. Now, I am not the kind of person that will advise you to buy every single new product or to buy the most expensive ones. And I say this because according to Insta360, they will continue to sell the X3 for $400. It is a good camera with some limitations when it comes to the resolution of the final videos. And for me, the X3 is the go-to if you're looking to get fun and more casual videos. But if you're someone who is more into higher quality and performance, I think that this new X4 is going to be the one for you. It has a retail price of $500, but after testing it for a few days, I feel it's worth investing the extra $100. If you think about it, it's only about $8 per month for one year. But honestly, this is by far the best 360 camera that we have on the market right now. It's not perfect, we all know that, but knowing the huge amount of users who love the X3, I can only imagine how fast Insta360 is going to sell these cameras. If you want to take a closer look at the X4 or the X3, the links are going to be down below. Please let me know what you think in the comments section. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you're having an amazing day, and I'm hoping to see you all in the next one. Bye.